There are two ways to judge a server. One is by its blazing speeds and feeds. The other is its professionalism, its stability, solidity, craftsmanship, support. Getting all of these in one server is hard. Getting them in a 2U 12 drive form factor has been practically impossible until Intel's McKay Creek, also known as the SSR 212 MC2. For speeds and feeds, check this. Intel's 5000P chipset, independent 1333 MHz front side buses, and two CPU sockets. With Xeon 5300s, that's up to eight of the world's fastest processor cores in a single 2U box. With eight FB DIMM slots, you get up to 32 gigabytes of ECC memory. There's onboard PATA, SATA, and SAS, dual gigabit ethernet ports, 850 watt redundant ready power supply, and you can't miss the 12 three and a half inch hot swap drive base. Theoretically, you could find these things in other white box servers, but Intel professionalism goes beyond the spec sheet. Look at Intel's unmatched support, three years of coverage backed by Intel's advanced warranty replacement program and the best free online and phone support staff in the business. You have the option of keeping up on the technology treadmill, but you also have the comfort and security of knowing that once you choose to standardize on this st storage server platform, you're going to have the ability to buy spares and accessories and field replaceable units for three plus years out in the future. Professionalism is also obvious under the hood. Look at all the wires everywhere. Oh wait, there aren't any. Intel's cable management is awesome. Wires are measured to ideal lengths and run under or around major components so as not to impede airflow. Speaking of airflow, the reason you don't see 8-core 2U servers everywhere is because the R&D needed to prevent overheating is massive. But Intel has done just that. The SSR 212 MC2 uses an array of 10 dual ball bearing fans. These pull cool air in from the front of the case, past the 12 drive bays, and through a clever arrangement of ventilation slots spanning the mid-plane board. Six of these 10 fans push air through the all-copper, low-profile CPU heat sinks and into a sculpted shroud that keeps the rest of the interior cool while channeling hot air straight out the rear exhaust vent. Two of the fans blow into the power supplies. The remaining fans blow through a drive cage designed for one or two two and a half inch boot drives. Why two and a half inch drives? People have their own preference for how they like to boot. Some like to load the operating system on a set number of drives, so let's say two drives, for example, mirrored off, off the two data drives in the front of the box. Another option is to load your operating system or your application on the internal boot drives. There's two two and a half inch boot drives that you can mirror together, for example, for redundancy and failover. A third option is to plug in what we call a DOM or disk on module. It's basically a solid state flash device. Take the fans as another example of top engineering. They're arranged too deep so that if one fails, the other can still move plenty of air through the system. Management apps will notify the admin of a fan failure, but LEDs on each fan let you know which one needs replacing. And could replacement get any easier? Just lift out the bad fan and plug in a new one. All 10 drop directly into a hot swap connector on a fan control board mounted to the case floor. No fan cables needed. There's a bonus fan for extra airflow at the back of the power supply cage, sandwiched between the rightmost hot swap fans and the power supply circuit board. This circuit board enables failover. Just remove the standard back plate, slide in an optional second 850 watt power supply, and snap it in place under the first power supply. Little things like these are what make the SSR 212 MC2 so exceptional. You can feel the quality in the thick sheet metal and vibration resistant construction. You even see Intel's attention in the component labeling, like the installation diagram on the two and a half inch drive cage, or the tag on each fan saying to be sure and replace it within 30 seconds. Now, to tie 12 SAS or SATA drives together with one midplane, you need a SAS expander. Intel bundles a SAS expander and it sits on the midplane tucked in a compartment inside the fan array. The expander cables back to Intel's Boiler Bay SAS controller, the SRC SAS 144E. That means support for up to 32 devices through an optional JBOD expansion unit, plus 
RAID levels 0, 1, 5, 10, and 50. Half-height SAS cards suitable for a 2U server are rare enough, but Intel tacks on even more value with a 72-hour battery pack. This sits in one of the PCI-X slots and makes sure that any data stuck en route to the hard drives during a power outage isn't lost. The SAS card comes with its own web-based management utility, but one of the advantages of having an Intel storage card on an Intel server board running Intel processors is that designers are able to plant hooks throughout the system and arrive at a unified management scheme. One software interface lets admins view and manage every major subsystem, RAID health, CPU temps, fan status, chassis intrusion, and so on. With different component brands, management UIs multiply and may even be incompatible. That's not to say Intel doesn't play well with other vendors. The SSR 212 MC2 is validated to run with a wide assortment of network cards, including Intel's own quad port and 10 gigabit Ethernet parts. And on the software side, Intel has spent months ensuring compatibility between this server and packages from Microsoft, VMware, Red Hat, Falcon Store, Wasabi, and many others. The SSR 212 MC2 is a hot channel opportunity because it's the only server barebones that combines maximum horsepower with feature breadth, compact size, design genius, and unbeatable support. Now you've got a name brand server, an Intel server, and you can build it to fit any customer's needs exactly.